Hey guys, welcome back. I just wanted to do a run through of my first impressions from the products I got in my Sephora August 2018 play box. So I'll just start, I guess, with what's in front of me. Again, the Amica Velveteen Dream Shampoo and Conditioner. I didn't even open this because I'm going to save it for travel because I have this. I love this. We carry this in my salon. Just like I said, I'm not going to dwell too much on this guy. Next one is the Moroccan Oil Dry Texture Spray. So while we're on the topic of Amika, I prefer Amika's Dry Texture Spray to this 100%. I just feel like the way your hair feels afterwards doesn't feel like that gritty, I don't know, it, it feels gritty and kind of stiff. With my other texture spray, I don't feel that. I feel like it's more, you know, natural looking. It moves a lot nicer. If it gets weird and ruffled in the wind, it doesn't keep that shape where I kind of found that with this. I am a big fan of Moroccan oil products. Just this one, not for me, but I do know what I like. So maybe this will work for someone else with a different hair texture. Who knows? You know, it's all personal preference, but that was my thoughts on that guy. I then have the Laneige uh, water sleeping mask. Just like I predicted, this did not last me very long just because I do use uh, this type of product all over my face, my neck, here, usually my hands as well. I, I don't know. I didn't feel like there was anything groundbreaking with this. It was nice. I felt like my skin wasn't heavy after I put it on because sometimes you do feel like that with a sleeping mask or a sleeping pack. But I mean, I didn't see anything that would make me want to repurchase or I guess initially purchase because I feel like the ones that I've used and still do use kind of do the same thing. There's one particular sleeping cream that I really, really like that I think I will do a different video on. But I mean, it was good. I'm glad I got to try it, but probably won't purchase it. I don't know. I'm very picky with uh, sleeping masks and skincare. So we'll move on to the NARS Prime Smudge Proof Eye Base. So I was really happy with this. I felt like it held my eyeshadow in place. I didn't have any creasing. It, you know, had that feeling when you put it on. Like I said in the first video, it felt kind of like a facial primer, but then it still had a little bit of tackiness to hold on to shadow, which I really liked, but it wasn't that tackiness that you know is just gonna, everything's gonna end up in your crease because, you know, hooded eye problems. But really like this. I think I do want to get the full size of this and continue using it because it's, it's a really good product. I'm very happy with it, so yay. Then we have... Uh, the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. I mean, it's fine. I think the applicator is a little weird. I'll show you guys. It's one that's very, very flat and kind of weirdly flexible. So I didn't quite like that. And I felt like when I applied it sometimes, it just kind of went everywhere on my upper lip and then I could feel it because it is plumping. It does have that tingle. I liked the tingle. That was fun. But I mean, I don't really, I don't really go for lip plumping products typically because I do have full lips. I did like that there was hyaluronic acid in it, which was cool. So maybe, you know, if they had a product with a different applicator that did have that uh, property to it, I'd probably be interested, but this was fun. You know, I'm always up for trying new things. And then last but not least, we have the Ciate London Highlighter in Moon Dust. And I know I talked a lot of trash about this packaging because I just like every time I open it, I'm scared that I'm going to break it. But it is so pretty. Like I, I've not had a highlighter like this before in this tone, especially. I was a bit nervous that it was going to be a bit too dark. But I really like it. I am wearing it now. You can't tell because my lighting kind of sucks because it's a weird time of day. But I, I really do like this. I am interested to see what the full size looks like because I'm sure it's not going to be in this packaging, obviously. But I'm, you know, I'm pretty interested in this. I mean, it is $32 for the full size, so that might have me on the fence a bit. But I really like this. I'm glad that I got a sample of it. 
even if it is in this terrible packaging, it's still a really nice product. So those were my thoughts. What did you guys think of your play boxes this month? Did you feel like there were lots of hits or misses? Is there anything that you're kind of excited to get a full size of to really dig into it, see how you feel about it? I feel like this was a kind of a, a weird smattering of things. I don't know, but I'm happy with it. I, I enjoyed it. I liked trying everything out as usual. So leave me a comment with your thoughts below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Like the video if you did. Hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams because I never give any warning for them. Um, you can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And enjoy your day, I guess. Uh, have a happy and safe Labor Day. And I'll see you guys later.